If it's July, it must be Christmas, or at least time for our annual Christmas in July challenge. Hello, everybody. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day 24 of our annual Christmas in July challenge. Almost every family has a treasured favourite recipe or even recipes that have been handed down through the generations. Now, a great way to ensure that that recipe and the family history aren't lost is to make a family recipe book. One of the loveliest family recipe book ideas I've come across is so simple. It's just a book where every Christmas, the cooks in the family share their favourite recipe from the past year. Now, I love this idea. Imagine that you'd add a recipe and then you'd pass the book on to your next family member, to your aunt, to your uncle, to your cousin, a brother or sister, to your parents, your mum or dad or somebody, anyone who cooks and get them to add a recipe to the book. Before long, that book would become a true family heirloom. Now, if that idea doesn't appeal to you, don't worry. You can create your own recipe book. Now, creating a recipe book isn't something that you can do in a couple of hours. It's a project that requires planning and consideration. And you need to start by making a list of all the recipes you want to include in your recipe book. Then you'll need to decide on a format. Will it just be a recipe book? Or will it have space for family history? Will you include stories with the recipes such as why Granny's Johnny Cakes were the best ever, or um, the secret to Annie Miriam's caramel slice. Will there be space to add other recipes? Will you leave space for comments and notes to be added later on as you or the recipient uses those recipes? How will you decorate it? What about the cover and the binding? And is this your personal project? Or would you like some other family members to help you? Now, you can use Word to create your family recipe book or you can buy software designed specifically for this project. Now, I've looked at a couple of programs that are available and really, while they were relatively cheap at under $40, Word pretty much lets you do all that they offer for nothing. You don't need to spend any extra money. Now, as you put your recipe book together, don't forget the illustrations. It's a really nice way to decorate um, your book and illustrate the recipes is to take a photo of the recipe as you make it and to include family photos and favourite sayings and family traditions sprinkled through the pages, just little notes here and there. You know, if you need inspiration, pay your local library a visit. They'll have dozens of cookbooks you can look at. Or pull out your own recipe book stash and have a look at those. <laughs> Just for the layout ideas, you're bound to be inspired by something. Now, the size of the finished book will be, you know, it will determine the binding that you use. Now, you can get binding done at office supply shops like Officeworks and Printers like Quick Copy and places like that will do binding and printing for a reasonable price. Or you can put it in a display folder or a ring binder. And if you do that, you have the option of personalising the cover. There are dozens of ways you can bind or present your family cookbook. So look at the recipe books on your shelves again if you're stuck for ideas and choose one that you think you will be able to manage. Or you could make and bind a recipe book yourself like this one. This is such a simple book. Now, I've made a few of these recipe books and they're so simple to put together from humble exercise books. They're all just six exercise books and I've popped them together. Now, these exercise books cost me the grand sum of five cents each a long time ago in the back to school, summer back to school sales. If you've got some of those exercise books lying around and need to use them up, 
try this. Really simple to do. And again, a couple of hours in front of the TV and you'll have a beautiful gift for somebody. Now, creating a family recipe book is, is a large project, but one it, that you can easily do by yourself, you just need to remember that it will take time, so you need to start now, and you need to collect those recipes from the family members to include in the family recipe book. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who would benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please use the share button below me there to send them a link. And I'll be back tomorrow with another great Christmas in July tip for you, brought to you by the Cheapskates Club.